How is everybody doing and welcome back to the channel. Uh, it has been a, uh, a few days since I've done a video and I do apologize for that. I've just been kind of busy helping my wife recover still. She is doing great, um, completely without the walker now and everything is kind of going pretty good. Um, she's trying to wean herself off the pain medicine and just do like some extra strength Tylenol and stuff like that. So uh, she's actually gonna go out of the house for the first time today. <clears throat> and uh, at, when you're watching this, it may be tomorrow for you guys and today for me and uh, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, <clears throat> just uh, I, got, I did get this blower running, you know, like we talked about the other day. Um, I got the carburetor off and cleaned out, but it wasn't running right, um, so I couldn't figure out what was going on. So I just wanted to come over here and see if you guys could tell me what is missing on the bottom of this carburetor. Now I know you can't tell me, but you can look and see. When I was doing my cleaning, you know, I just I take a small little wire. Um, what works really well is uh, a, a torch cleaner. Now, you, some of those torch cleaners are pretty abrasive. You don't want to use like the, the file type. Just use the, the smooth wire that's within them torch cleaners and just kind of run through there as you're cleaning all these orifices, um, whether it be in the body. There's two there, one there, and then one down inside there. Um, in the bowl area here, there's the two here. There's your main feed. Um, Actually, what's, I'm going to tell you what's missing is this Welch cover. Uh, what that is, is these little discs right here. Um, when I was cleaning it, I must have blown a little bit too hard and blew this Welch cover out of there. And um, didn't realize it when I put it back together, put it back together. And of course, it's getting way too much fuel. So uh, therefore, it just has that little small area right there where it allows fuel to come through. How these work is it's just a little concave disc if you can see that right there and I'll put that in my vise in between not the disc I'll put the carburetor in my vise in between two pieces of wood I'll lay that in this opening here and I'll take like a punch or something like that not a, 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 a yeah a punch and I will hit the center of it with a hammer ever so slightly and what that does is it spreads it out and then it holds tension inside that uh, this little housing right here so it works a lot like the gotta remember the name of it the back of the cam um, the cam plug cam plug extension something like that. I can't remember exactly what it is but if you take your on the Cummins or on my truck um, any truck basically um, second gen and older Third gens, they went to a different uh, style seal. Uh, my truck still has the, the cam cam plate expansion or extension or so, I can't remember. I've got a video on it. Um, in that, where you drill a hole in it and you use this chisel and pry it out. And then it's the same style as that right there where you set it in there, put some red Loctite around the edges and then smack it with uh, two hammers actually. Uh, just a regular hammer and then a ball peen hammer, the ball end of the ball peen hammer. And what that does is it expands that and holds that into the back of the block. Now, the new style is uh, in like the common rails 03 and up. They have an O-ring where they actually milled a ring right in the back of the, uh, the adapter plate for your transmission. So you don't have to use that cam plate. Cam expansion plug? I don't know. Anyway, there's... I think I haven't, I think I actually bought two of them. I think I actually have one someplace. Just right here it is. This right here, this is what I'm talking about. See how it's the same shape as that disc? And then you lay your ball end here, and then you smack with a hammer and it spreads it out and holds it in the back of the block to seal uh, the back of the cam. So that, that's how that works now that we're jumping all over the place. So in the meantime, the last couple of days, I've got some pretty exciting news. Jegs actually contacted, and I like how I overpronounce that, Jegs. Anyway, Jegs have actually contacted me to do some affiliate sales for them. And I've also got some sales going on through Hot Shot Secret, so I wanna give you uh, those. But uh, you know, this is Veterans Day weekend, so I'm gonna go over the Hot Shot Secrets first. All right, for this weekend, this weekend only, up until Monday, um, 
Everybody in honor of Veterans Day is going to get 10% off. If you use uh, coupon code VETERANS18, uh, that will get you 10% off. And then any order, I forget how, how what the dollar amount is, but you'll also get a free bottle of anti-gel since you can't use my coupon code. Um, you spend so much, you'll get a free bottle of diesel winter anti-gel. And Veterans, just for you, um, they are also giving you another 10% off, so that's a total of 20% uh, off your entire purchase. You just got to put in your veterans credentials. It'll just, uh, when you hit checkout, uh, you'll see the apply coupon code and then you'll see uh, military veterans. Just click on that tab there and you'll go through, put in your credentials and uh, be able to get an additional 10% off for the total of 20%. And that's at Hot Shot Secrets. Link is in the description. Which I think it's pretty cool for Hot Shots doing uh, that. I will uh, put the links in the description. I always have Hot Shots link in the description. So if you guys want to go, um, you veterans, and pick things up, I think that's very, very cool. And thank you very much for everything that you've done for our country. It's greatly appreciated. Um, Jags, first link in the description. Hot Shot Secrets will be right below that. First link in the description for Jags. Right now, they have uh, free shipping on orders over $99. They also have gift cards for dad, um, brother, yourself if you want to. Um, and they have also a promotion going on where it's 10 off of 100, 25 off 250, and 50 off of 500. And that coupon code is SAVE, all capital letters, 50. I'll put that uh, in the description also. Um, so I'm pretty excited about Jake's contacting me and wanting me to do some sales for them, which I think is very, very cool. So, I mean, they have, if you just go, all, I mean, Vibrant Fittings, they have all those. Um, AN from Dash 4 to Dash 12. Um, I'm thinking of doing something on my truck with the valve cover, and they have those bulkhead fittings that I want that are the Vibrant. Um, I'll have that coming up here pretty quick. Um, they have, uh, basically just go to Jake's website, use my link in the description, and just type in your platform, whether it be PowerStroke, Duramax, or Cummins, and it'll bring up everything that they have for said truck. I was really pleasantly surprised to see uh, how much they do have, and I was also also uh, pretty cool that you know Jegs is an Ohio-based company, and I'm an Ohio-based channel, along with you know Hot Shots Secret, um, and uh, they're an Ohio-based company also. They're just right over there, in Mount Gilead. So um, anyway, I was, I was pretty excited, just something more for to offer you guys um, for just you know all the support that you give me is is just is pretty awesome. It's greatly appreciated. Also, today is Friday. I know this is a lot of information right in the beginning of this video, isn't it? Today is Friday. Today is the last day for stickers. Um, so if you guys wanted them, hit me up on Instagram. It's right here and. Uh, uh, just give me your address and what color you wanted, whether you wanted mine, whether it be a vertical or horizontal green, or uh, fire and rescue, which is red, or police, which is blue. So um, all you need to do is follow me on Instagram, subscribe to the channel, and message me on Instagram. Tell me what you want, give me your address, and I'll get that right out to you. So um, I think that's pretty much all I had to cover as far as that stuff. Uh, one other thing, you know, kind of when it rains, it pours. Got a call this morning. I was just getting up, got my call from Aid, getting ready to take my first drink. My stepdad called, and we had our first snowfall today. He actually fell, slipped, slipped and fell on uh, some snow when he was coming back in the house from taking the trash out, and uh, broke the big bone on the bottom of the leg. I can never remember the tib fib, um, whatever the big bone is, uh, fibula, I think, tibula. I can't remember. Anyway, he broke a portion of that, so I have spent all morning long in the ER with him. So now I'm helping out my stepdad to get better, and I've also got my wife in the house trying to get her better. So it's kind of been, uh, I guess, one hell of a week, as you could say, for the past week. Um, but, you know, that just happened with him today, and you know what I mean. Anyway, I want to get this done here and uh, get this back together. So. I can see if I can get that running. I got, I got, no, I don't got. I have to start getting some leaves cleaned up. We had snow today. Everything is melted. And uh, <clears throat> it's just entirely too wet. I don't know that I'm gonna be do, able to do anything this weekend as far as leaf cleanup. So 
Um, I'll see what I can do. I don't have any parts in right now to do any more truck content. So the only thing I have really is mower stuff. My brother called me. Uh, he actually owns the 50 inch mower now. And he said that uh, he's having problems with it again as far as that clutch assembly. So I think I told you in the past that that clutch is really, really loose in there when it, you uh, engage it, how much it turns back and forth. So I'm kind of thinking that clutch is on its way out and it's just moving so much and it's possibly broke a wire or busted that wiring harness or something like that. So I don't know. We're going to try and see what we can do, see if we can't get him patched up for the rest of this year. But I told him he's just going to have to put a new clutch on it. So, um, yeah. Let's uh, put that Welch plug, and that's called a Welch plug, is what those are actually called. You guys that's been, uh, had that apart before, um, I'm sure you've saw them in there. The way you traditionally get those out <clears throat> is the same way. You take a drill bit and you drill a hole in there and uh, basically just take a small little punch and kind of twist and turn and it pops right out. You do not want to put something in that little hole right there and pry it out because you do not want to change the size because that's all sized and metered for the amount of gas that comes through there. If you go prying on that, you could break this little housing or you could uh, um, you know, change the way that that gas does come out. And this is the housing I'm talking about, using the needle. And that's what I'm talking about. You know, you could hit that, you could bust that. And there's not much room between the main jet here and to get something there to pry that out anyway. But what you would do is, I've got two of them here, is you would drill a hole down through the center of that and then uh, take a little small little punch and just kind of pry it and twist it out. Kind of like what you do frost plugs and stuff like that. So anyway, let's uh, get set up, get that put in and get that carburetor back on there and hopefully uh, get this thing running tonight. All right, so I have the carburetor. I've got it in, in between two blocks of wood. Um, gotta make sure your choke's out of the way. Basically all you do is you just take this welch plug and you lay it right in there. If I can get it in there. Just like so. See how that's laid in place? Now you don't need one on this side. It's kind of deceiving. It does look like there is an orifice down in there, but it is uh, actually blocked off. Um, it's not drilled all the way through. So that is actually nothing right there. It is on this side right there. So, and then you just take, I've got a small little punch. I'll put it in the center right there. And then I'll just smack the top of it with a hammer. Real, real light. You don't need um, a lot of force on it at all. It's just enough to spread it out to hold it in place. So that's basically all there is to it. I might have hit it just a little bit too hard, but this time it is held in place. So now I just got to put the carburetor back together and to get it back on the vacuum over there.
Well, I guess that uh, worked out pretty good. Um, I kind of, after I, I didn't really know what was wrong, um, but after I took it apart and saw that that was missing, um, I figured that's the, uh, the was the whole issue right there. Um, there, that's a little bit better. Had you zoomed in so you could see a little bit better. Like I said, I'm still getting used to the camera. Um, I think it's working out pretty good. One of you guys had mentioned that uh, it was a little bit yellow last time, and that's because I was playing with the settings and I forgot to change it back. So hopefully tonight it looks better. Um, other than that, don't forget to check out uh, Jeg's performance. Um, first link in the description. Second link in the description is uh, Hot Shot Secret. I'm gonna have to call Jeg's and see if I can't get a banner to put up in the garage um to uh to advertise that also but check them guys out up there anyway guys i think that's pretty much all i have tonight i'm pretty excited if you remember right that's the one that was locked up um a little bit of diesel fuel a little bit of carburetor cleaning and seems like everything's gonna be good so now i just need to get it put on this uh, bracket back here that'll sit and lock in here and get bolted on here then there's a tab that spins over and uh holds this top portion on so Anyway, like always, I do appreciate you watching very, very much. Hit that like button, give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you have not already done so, and share the page, share the channel. Tell everybody that uh, I'm here and not going anywhere. So until next time, guys, we will talk to you later on. Bye-bye.